Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Assassin's Creed 2 on new play. Uh, we're going to look at 4K 60Hz on ultra settings, as you can see. Mold sampling is times 8. Everything else is maxed out. Let's see if we can stay at 59 frames per second. Quite a bit of crowd action going on here. Now I can't get it above 59 or 60 frames per second because I think the game is actually locked at 60 frames per second maximum and it will not unlock in any files anywhere. I've looked on YouTube, looked on Google, I'm not able to find myself a way to do it. If there is a way to do it, I'd love to see um, how to do it. If you can drop a comment down below and tell me, I'll definitely do another video. See, it's 59 frames per second, pretty much locked out. Everyone's after me, I mean, I'm not sure why. Let's go see what this guy wants. Talk. Any cutscenes? Good morning, Father. Come with me. See what they look like. 58 Something wrong. Nine. Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little no. visit to Christine. Mini monitor. I'm running it as an LG, it's an UL950, it's 4K 60Hz, that's got HDR, it, 600, it reminds me of myself no when way I of recording HDR personally myself, I assume these misadventures hopefully in the future I'll find a way, no padre, avete la mia parola, I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo Di Medici to review, I need them delivered to him, we I'm going to go through quite a few old games at the minute with the RTX 2080 Ti and see how these old games fare these days at 4K60 or ultra wide. There's my Asus ROG Swift, one ultra wide, 344 40, 1440p, 200Hz. I only want it at 144 personally because I want to keep the 10-bit HDR on that monitor. But that's for another topic for another video. Okay, so it's definitely just locked at 59 frames. So let's try and um, get a bit higher up, see if that makes any difference at all to the frames. Gotta admit, the control scheme is pretty hard when you've been used to using the right stick to move the camera around. This is LT and RT to move the camera like that can't use the right stick. I prefer to play these games on a controller. I don't use mouse and keyboard. That's just my own personal reference really. 59 frames per second. You can see the draw distance is really close to the floor, the uh, tessellation. What is the draw distance line for textures? Yeah, that building to the right just there, textures have not actually I'm in yet, have a look. If I see how close we can get before. Oh, it's coming now. I will just hang there for a bit. Whoa! Where did go? I keep using the right stick still to try and move the camera. It's just something you get used to after using, you know, for years and years. A normal way, I guess, nowadays. And then going back to these old games, it's just hard. Let's just have another run around the city and see what happens. The textures there, like you see, popping in. Oh, here we go. What does he do here? Can I get in here? Nope. I don't care. Who you get are, it. But where you get? Let's try and get a bit of a runabout. Why should people run him after me? See if that makes any difference to kind of frames. Not really. What about in the open world? I bet we can't really go out to the open world, can we? No. Knock them over. Could actually drop down a little bit then, didn't it? Maybe that's a streaming issue, I'm not sure. With assets. Try and get back up here. 
Fuck. What are gonna get thrown out here? I don't see him anymore. Oof. Still running after me. <laughs> Oof, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Okay, I think we can establish this is not gonna go below 59 frames per second, really, at 4K60 on a 2080 Ti. I think we'll leave the video there. If you like what I'm doing at the minute with my content, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe. It will help the channel grow. I'm trying to do it at the minute. That'd be great. Thank you. Keep safe and see you next time.